Hi there, this is Jonathan Ginsberg. I'm a Social Security Disability Attorney, and I'd like to make a suggestion to you about how to best prepare for your hearing, and that is to understand uh, what the judge is looking to hear. And basically, judges are like anybody else. They like stories, and the story you need to tell sort of should have a beginning, a middle, and not necessarily an end, but just a, a progress update. So in other words, if you're talking about a medical condition, tell the judge, be able to tell the judge how it started. When did it first start bothering you? What did you do? What type of treatment did you seek? Kind of what, what the story is. You didn't just out of the blue, most cases, develop severe back pain. It may have been a fall 20 years ago. It may have been a car accident, whatever it may be. But be prepared to tell the story in a concise fashion. Don't get caught up in details, but give the judge a sense of the progression. And as you do this, bear in mind that it's really important that you explain uh, to the judge how you have fought every step of the way to regain full function. So, for example, if it's a back problem, you know, you went to the doctor for, for injections or you took physical therapy, you went to the chiropractor, whatever it may be. But explain to the judge how you dealt with this problem. And it should be logical. It should be reasonable. And the way to practice this is, you know, tell this to, to a loved one, to your, to your spouse, to a child, to a friend. Be able to walk through in a very brief, you know, five to seven minute overview what has happened to you from the, from the logical, logical get beginning to the current stage. And the current stage ought to be, I'm still getting treatment, I'm still fighting this, I want to get back to work, I want to be able to re re regain my life and restore my full functioning. But be prepared to tell the story to the judge in a reasonable fashion. Because again, you know your story a lot better than your attorney, you know it better than the judge. He's looking at the medical record, but you're bringing... Um, sort of your personality and, and the real life part of this into your into your story, um, and I think that when people are telling their story, sometimes they get caught up in details where they'll just really focus on something that happened ten years ago, um, and judges aren't really concerned about that. They just want to kind of hear the progression. Uh, even on, on a timeline. So that's something worth practicing. It's worth preparing. Now, a good attorney will get you back on track. And one of the things I'll tell my clients is if they start rambling, if they get off track, then I'm going to stop them and I'm going to go forward and, and kind of bring them back to the present day. So they're not, they're not stuck in 1987 telling me about um, you know some conversation they had back in 1987. So you need to make sure that your, your re recollections and your descriptions are concise and relevant. That's something your attorney can help you with. Uh, but again, you're telling your story, and you need to be prepared to do that. And the only way to really prepare yourself is to practice. So that's something I would tell you that you should spend some time with, especially with your attorney, uh, but talk to other people as well. But be prepared to tell your story so that you make a compelling presentation, that the, the unwritten part of the story is that you are legitimate, you are sincere, you're trying your best to, to improve yourself, um, but that because of circumstances and medical problems beyond your control, you simply cannot work anymore. And that's the real um, the upshot of your story is that your, your capacity to function a work environment has been so reduced by your medical problems, you would not be reliable. That's what you're trying to show. But your story before that needs to kind of lead up to that. So uh, what I'm getting at big picture is tell a story. Tell your story and be prepared to do so uh, in a reasonable, logical fashion at your hearing. Hope this has been helpful. Again, I'm Jonathan Ginsberg. Any questions about Social Security Disability, please let me know. Thanks a lot.